Hi, this is Sherry Veronica, and I want to talk to the people in charge at the CBC um, News in Barbados, Caribbean Broadcasting Corporation in Barbados. I want to speak to you about one of your employees. Um, what's his name? Anthony Admiral Nelson. Okay, I want to talk to you about him. Um, there was a situation with him in Miami, as I'm sure you know, and he has created a whole ant's nest out of the fallout from what happened and he is very assured that he is going to return to work on Tuesday tomorrow which which would be the 9th of January 2024. I want to talk to you about him being on the air and what you as an employer are promoting. I want to talk to you about your promoting lies in the Barbadian atmosphere i want to talk to you about promoting untruths i want to talk to you about promoting a situation that you have tolerated probably now for years and you've known about and you have an opportunity now to step in and take a look at really what is right in front of you i want to talk to you about anthony Admiral Nelson. Now he's saying that he is returning to work on Tuesday. Very arrogant statement. And he is saying to people that there was a hate crime committed against him in Miami Dade, where people thought that black people were rising up to take over. Black people are only 12% in America, the whole of America. And in that in that 12 percent we are at the bottom okay cbc news people we are at the bottom when they talk to you about being careful in certain areas it's usually it's usually a black area that they're telling you to be careful about okay we're at the bottom and we some of us are making strides we are being very civic minded and we're doing things to to better ourselves do not let do not let what the admiral did with him saying that he hurt a white woman in front of her child do not let that put us back two steps back we, we are taking steps forward and he's and he has taken us back sometimes people don't know what they're doing or what they're saying i i admit that sometimes people don't know the gravity of what they're saying how it it, it resonates and it it's like a boomerang and it can it causes trouble it causes trouble i'm asking you cbc as an employer as an employer maybe it, it, it can expand to me and motley or, who, or whoever else is involved in you as like you're part of the government you're subsidized by the government maybe maybe i don't want to overstep i don't want to you know speak um on truth so I don't know if you're subsidized by the government, but maybe this needs to be looked at. If, if you allow Admiral, if you allow Anthony Nelson to return to his post on Tuesday, you are sanctioning his actions. You are saying, yeah, so what? He went to America, there was a hate crime committed. Michael Lashley was able to get him out of it. You're promoting lies. You are promoting lies. It cannot happen. It did not happen. It cannot happen. It did not happen. What happened was domestic. What happened was between him and the person he traveled with. Okay? And you need to look at it. You need to find, find out, is her hand broken or is it just injured? What's the severity of her injury? And why was she or him or in collaboration? Why would they come up with that lie? Yes, I know they're embarrassed. I know it's a it's embarrassment, but you have made black people in America. You have made black island people in America look bad. It's a black eye on us when he can state what he has stated and then have a parade of people believe in him. Please, please, whoever is in charge at CBC, make a statement. Make us you we need heroes. Not lies, not not just putting things under the rug, not sweeping things under the rug, not all the time. So we gotta we gotta progress. We gotta progress. We need truths. 
We need good people. We need heroes. We need heroes in our community. We are a minority. A minority, 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 minority. We're at the bottom. When they warn people, they're warning them about us. They're warning them about us. We need heroes. We need people who are going to speak the truth and stand up. Stand up. I'm going to watch to see what happens tomorrow at CBC. I just hope you do not let us down. Okay? Hope you do not let us down. This is Sherry Veronica.